as we find ourselves at the Hawthorns. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone. And sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on live action from the Championship. It's West Bromwich Albion and they face Luton Town. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And here's the starting 11 for West Bromwich Albion. Well, they're playing with a 5-2-3, as we can see it here. But I think at times we'll see one of the centre-backs stepping forward into midfield just to make sure they don't get outnumbered in that central area. And the game begins. It is a decent-looking attack here but really sticking to their task defensively. Carroll. Now can they make something happen? And he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. I think most defenders would expect to be booked halting an attack in that fashion. Well, the referee's stamping his authority on the situation. He's decided to book him, Stuart. Well, you can't get away with that, even this early in the game. That... Oh, what an exquisite goal! Absolute perfection! Well, look at this again. It's such a great free kick because it looks as though it's going over the top and then suddenly dips underneath the crossbar. Brilliant technique and so difficult to stop. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1 0. Defensive efficiency personified. Darnell Furlong. Jason Malumbi. Mowat. Now they're on the scent of something positive. Oh, a powerful effort. Close. That is how to apply the pressure. Well, he's lost it. Ajay. Molumbi. And well, they know they need to stop him. Timely intervention. And he's lost custody of the ball here. Well, the keeper was called upon and delivered. Well, he's so good in those 1v1 moments, and he's proved it yet again. And he's fired over the corner. Well, he would love to have that header back. Burke. Campbell. Just failing to hit the target with his pass. And it'll be a throw-in. Jason Malumbi. Dian Ghana. Still not clear. Well, the hosts have had so much of the ball in the last 15 minutes, creating lots of chances now, and you think if they do get another, it's going to be tough for the opposition to find a way back into this. And he's taken it away. And the flag is up, offside. Well, that's just a lack of awareness. He was clearly in an offside position. Couldn't hang on to it.
Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Tremendous challenge. Counter attacking, very much an option. Couldn't keep it. Carroll. Mowat. He's in here. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now. And they just need to keep the concentration. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So, 2-0 now. Ajay. Went in strongly to win the ball. Not a great pass. And beating the defender. Crossing possibilities. Wonderful chance. And able to get a body in the way. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Campbell. Moving forward effectively. Can they convert? Well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. Trying to deliver it accurately. In it goes to alter the arithmetic and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? Really good attacking play. Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. And the referee has given the corner, so maybe scope here for them to add to their lead. Well, lacking just a little bit of accuracy. Well, he has the measure of his man. A glorious chance. And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance. Well, it's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Might be able to get in behind the defence. And teammates to play it to. Well, it was never really going to be of concern to the keeper, that one. Lockyer and dispossessed Grant electing to cross into the centre save but still a chance full credit wonderful stop can he take advantage a goal and it seems they're truly cruising to victory here.
Well, here's the replay, and you can see why the manager is furious. It's just really poor play, offering up possession far too easily in a dangerous area. And at this level, if you keep doing that, you're going to get punished. It's just not good enough. Not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Mpanzu. Possession one. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. So a personnel change then. Well, as you can see, the hosts have had most of the ball and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Coming off the pitch. Number 23. He's given us away. To be replaced by. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Carroll. And beyond the last defender, offside. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Oh, nice work to get past his opponent. Straight offside, but only just. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Number seven, Harry Cornick. To be replaced by number 18, Robert Snodgrass. Clark. Over the touchline for a throw in. Crossing opportunity. Now will the cross work out for them? Oh, good save. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. And there's the delivery. Well, nothing untoward happened. High pressing at its best. An important interception. Well, on the cusp of the final whistle, and the home side really prospering today. Stuart, interested to get your take. Well, what an excellent performance this has been. They've had complete control for most of the game. Their movement, clever passing and energy have been a joy to watch. It's been a really good win for them. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. They will have four minutes of stoppage time. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. And there goes the final whistle. All is well on the West Brom camp. They get the victory. What did you think of it? You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent. Full of energy and pace. And...